The AIO media can only be installed when the usual AVCS S63 1.1 data has been previously installed. After having previously installed the permit for the AIO cell GB800001, the AIO media now needs to be installed. To install AIO Media, select Chart Loader from the menu. In the Chart Loading window, select Scan Drives. Untick the already selected ENC S63 permit box and ensure the data box is ticked to install the AIO data from the inserted CD. If the AIO data is stored on another source, for instance a USB drive, the system will automatically recognize the new source and will install from that location. Click OK to continue the installation. The system will then display a progress bar plus related messages. The status indicator will show the interim results of the installation if the system detected any errors. The indicator will change to yellow if any errors are detected during data import. Should any critical errors be detected, the indicator will change to red and the affected data will not be imported. All messages and actions are recorded in the report file. This can be accessed, if required, via the Last Report button. The eGlobe G2 Ectis also gives users the option of downloading their data directly from the Chartworld FTP server. The eGlobe G2 Ectis is delivered customized with pre-configurations allowing users to use this FTP server. This needs to be organized directly with the Ectis manufacturer. Once the updates are installed, these changes need to be applied to the eGlobe G2 Ectis. Click on Apply Changes in the Synchronization box. The system will display a progress bar plus related messages when applying the changes. When the changes have been applied, a message will be displayed in the process window to confirm the S63 installation is done.